In this video, I will show you how to update your customer portal and SIP account passwords with your VoIP.ms account. For security purposes, VoIP.ms always recommends a different password for the customer portal and the SIP account. Unfortunately, this can sometimes create some problems when setting up your device, such as a SIP error code 403. More on SIP error codes in the video in the description box below. To avoid this, I will show you how to update your passwords easily. First, I will show you how to update the password of your customer portal. To do so, visit the VoIP.ms website at www.voip.ms. Once logged in, head to Main Menu tab, then to Account Settings, then to tab Security. In the first section you will find Customer Portal Password. To update your current password to a new one, enter your current password in the field Enter Current Password, followed by the new password in both New Password and Confirm New Password fields. When ready, click on the Apply button. Your Customer Portal password is now updated. Now, let's move on to updating the main account's SIP password. Head to the Main Menu tab, then to Account Settings, then to the tab Security. Then, you will need to update your main account SIP IAX password. Here you have two options. The first one will apply if you remember your main account's SIP password. If so, please enter it in the current SIP IAX password. If you don't remember it, then please click on Set Random Password and Send Email button. This action will allow the system to set a random temporary password for your main account. This temporary password will also be sent to your email. You will need to retrieve it and enter it in the field Current SIP IAX Password. Then enter the custom password you will use on fields New Password and Confirm New Password. Once done, click on Apply, and your main account SIP password will be updated. If you currently have the main account associated to any device, make sure the device's configuration is also updated to allow registration as well as making and receiving calls. Lastly, if you do not use sub-accounts, you can skip this last section. To change a sub-account password, head over to the Sub-Account tab, then click on Manage Sub-Account. You will be prompted with a list englobing all your sub-accounts. Once you locate the one you need to update the password for, click on the yellow notepad icon in the Action column. This will take you to the Edit Sub-Account page. Here, locate the fourth field from the top called Current SIP IAX Password. And just like with the main account procedure, you can either enter your actual password or request a temporary one. Then enter a new one in both New Password and the Confirm New Password fields. Once completed, please scroll down and click on the button Update Account. And this is how you can update your customer portal and SIP account passwords with your VoIP.ms account. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.